It's a beautiful, brisk fall afternoon in Bloomington, Indiana, as a Big Ten women's soccer clash is ahead of us. It's the Nebraska Cornhuskers traveling to Bloomington to take on the Indiana Hoosiers. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into today's broadcast. I'm Austin Platt, alongside my broadcast partner, Samantha Condra. Your first shot came from Abby Schwartz, the sophomore from Bennington, Nebraska. Led the team with eight assists last season. She already has got two goals and two assists this season. And that's going to be a handball in the penalty box for Indiana, and it is a penalty for the Cornhuskers. Just a minute and a half into the match. The ball came up and looked like it hit Megan Wampler right on the hand, and this is an early chance. Eleanor Dale is going to take the penalty, and what a start this could be for the visitors. Definitely could be an interesting start. Jamie Gerstenberg not playing in that last game is put up to a big test early on. Dale has a goal and an assist this season. Gerstenberg back off suspension is going to be asked to potentially make a big save here. First penalty Indiana has conceded this season. This is the first time Nebraska gets a penalty of their own as well. From 12 yards out, Eleanor Dale for Nebraska beats Gerstenberg. Nebraska takes the lead off the penalty just a minute and a half into this match. It's a dream start for the visitors. Nebraska won, Indiana nil. Camille Ham will deliver this throw in for Indiana. Time ticking away, 20 minutes left. Still plenty of time for Indiana to find an equalizer. Good looking throw and Levy can't win it. Could fall for here for one of the Hoosiers. Smith with it, good save off the line by Hawk. Big stop with their right boot. Sammy Hawk with a huge save. Here comes Sarah Weber with it, working on Tiger, getting it to that left. Sarah Weber for Nebraska, doubles the Cornhuskers lead. She works around Zoe Tiger, chipped it over Jamie Gerstenberg, and gives Nebraska that second goal they've been desperately looking for. Huskers double their lead in Bloomington. Nebraska two, Indiana nil. Anglum from La Vista, Nebraska, the 5'7 freshman will throw it in. Sends it way up in the air. Elena Kalen deals with it, comes back to Anglum. She sends another good cross. Kalen once again to clear it for the Hoosiers. Bennett can't clear it as a cross into the center of the area. Dale Neely got a foot on it, and eventually it's going to be a foul against the goal scorer, Dale, and Indiana will have a free kick, courtesy of Jamie Gerstenberg. Approaching the 10 minute mark here, there is Erwin Van Bennekom in year number four at Indiana. Career record of 25, 22, and 13. Indiana with some good possession here. Akil floats one over the top, looking for Bennett. Initial header one by the Huskers. And then Levy can't win it back from Nebraska. This is a very steady back line and a very young team at that, Samantha. This is a Nebraska team that only has one senior on the team in Marissa Papula, who's not even in the starting 11 today. And they graduated a lot of seniors last year, 11 of them, but it's a pretty good team considering the fact that last year they lost so many one goal games. They lost nine games as a whole last season. Eight of them were by one goal. And the three wins they got last year in Big Ten play were the last three matches of the year. So you feel like this is a team last year that's certainly better than their record, which tells you why they're playing so well to start this year. Yeah, exactly, and they did lose a lot, but they've also added a good amount of players. Sarah Weber is only a sophomore and is by far the best player on the team with five goals already on the season and leads the conference in shots with 46. So it's definitely a younger team, and they also have some freshmen. Sadie Waite has scored a goal this season, and sophomore Haley Peterson has also scored a goal this season. Here's Anna Bennett with the corner. Big Ten all-freshman team a few years ago. Header is on, but off of the target. That was Ava Akil. We said her name a lot already. But it'll be a goal kick for Sammy Hawk, the junior goalkeeper and the Arizona transfer. Started in all 12 games this season, has played in every minute. An average goals against of 1.5. Ham will throw it in here near the Nebraska bench. Sophomore from Carlsbad, California. Bit too strong for Levy. Got 
Another throw in for the Hoosiers here. Taking the 12th minute mark here in Bloomington, Nebraska, an early goal courtesy of a penalty kick by Eleanor Dale. They have a 1-0 lead. Indiana's 10th goal conceded in the last four matches. It's been a problem lately, considering that was their strong suit entering the season. Ham's gonna get another chance at this. Waits for the ball to come down. Pressing towards the corner, and it goes off of Sarah Weber in the end, so it's another corner for the Hoosiers. It will be Anna Bennett once again, the junior from Holland, Michigan. She's got a goal and an assist this season. She's looking for another assist here on this corner. Final from Bloomington, Nebraska 2, Indiana nil. Austin Platt, Samantha Conjure with you here. Samantha, the scoring got started right there in the second minute, a penalty kick, and Nebraska eventually got that second goal late in the second half to seal, but a dominant performance from the Cornhuskers today on the road. Yeah, Nebraska didn't let Indiana really get anything going offensively until the second half, and even then, the defense stood strong. Not letting Indiana get a goal. Indiana has not gotten a goal yet in conference play this season and hasn't gotten a win yet either. Turned into a physical battle early on. We saw Eleanor Dale scored the penalty kick just two minutes in after the ball ended up hitting Megan Wampler. Jamie Gerstenberg made some key saves here and there, but eventually the second goal did fall to Sarah Weber or Samantha, and that kind of put the icing on the cake. Yeah, it definitely did. And Cornhusters come away with a big win. It's going to help them out in the Big Ten standings, hoping to get to that Big Ten tournament in Indiana. Still struggling so far this season. Still yet to score a goal this season with the final, Nebraska 2, Indiana 0. 